What is good guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to create this teleport zoom effect inside After Effects. We're going to be creating this look where it looks like our subject is teleporting from one scene into another scene and the goal is to make it look seamless so that it looks like everything's happening within one scene. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So here in After Effects, I have these two clips playing from the Lil Yachty and Ian music video and in order to create this effect, you want to have two scenes where the environment is the same or similar because in our case, our first clip as well as our second clip has the same background to get started what i'm going to do is go into the end of our first clip go back four frames if you click the page up button on your keyboard you can go frame by frame i'm just going to go back four frames and in order to get that teleport effect i'm going to have to create a freeze frame layer grab the first layer click ctrl d in order to duplicate that layer and i'm just going to rename these layers just to make it easier little yachty one little yachty two and name this layer to yachty freeze because that's going to be our freeze frame layer grab this layer right click go to time and freeze frame that layer and what that pretty much did was freeze frame that part of the layer we're going to have to cut this layer to where that freeze frame layer begins because we want the regular video playing before it cuts into that teleport zoom effect for this freeze frame layer i'm going to mask out little yachty using the pen tool after masking out your subject, you want to click that layer and click M twice in order to reveal the mask. Turn off the bottom layer for now just so that I can see my layer more clearly. I'm going to increase the mask feather to 2, decrease the mask expansion to negative 3 just to make the edges of our subject feel smoother. And because I only want to focus on low Yachty, what I'm going to do is mask out our subject here on the right. In order to do that, grab the pen tool, mask around the subject that you don't want to use in order to create this effect. I have it like that. Click the layer, click M in order to reveal the mask. Change it from add to subtract. And in order to fix this missing part of the background, click that layer, click the mask, right click and click track mask. And what that does is open up our tracker here on the right. For the method, I'm just going to have it at position, scale and rotation. And then I'm going to drag my time indicator all the way towards the beginning. Click the forward button for our tracker. So what that pretty much did was track our subject as it was moving. So if you play it through, you notice that our mask is also moving with our subject. Now in order to fill this background so that we don't have this missing spot, I'll be going to the content aware fill panel. If you can't see your content aware fill, go to the window and click content aware fill. I have my settings like this where the alpha expansion is at 64 and the fill method is at object and then the range is at the work area. Click generate fill layer and what that pretty much does is analyze the background. After clicking the generate fill layer, you should have a layer that appears on your timeline. Drag that layer above our first layer cut it to the same length of our first layer. So now if I play this, we don't have our subject here on the right anymore. In order to create the first part of this effect, make this layer two frames long. Depending on where your anchor point is, is where your animation will be happening from. Move the anchor point where it's a little more towards the left of our subject. Then go into the second scene, duplicate this layer, click control D, click that layer, right click, go to time and click freeze frame and make this layer two frames long. Rename this to make it easier to Yachty freeze. Bring this layer two frames back and then grab the pen tool to mask out our subject. After masking out our subject from the second scene, I'm going to now create that teleport effect from the first scene into the second scene. In order to do that, I'm going to keyframe the skill at 100% in the beginning, go forward two frames, or go back one frame for now just so that we can still see our layer, and have it scale to around 150. Grab that keyframe and move it to the end. And because we're keyframing the scale in order to create the zoom effect, we can still see our original subject from our layer. So in order to get rid of that, grab the original layer which was the video playing click ctrl d in order to duplicate that layer bring that layer right underneath our freeze framed layer and then i'm going to cut this layer to where the freeze framed layer starts grab the pen tool and just mask out our subject for this layer just like how we did in order to get rid of our subject here on the right Grab that layer, click M in order to reveal the mask, then click subtract instead of add. And then click this button right here, which solos our layer so that we can only see that layer. Click generate fill layer in order to fill that part of our background layer. And then we're going to unsolo these layers. Grab that layer and move it right underneath our freeze framed layer. And then just cut it to the same length of the original layer. For this layer, you want to just turn it off so that we don't see our subject here on the right. I know with all these fill layers, it can get a little confusing. So it's important to just name all your layers 
layers just so that you know which one's which now if we play this we have our subject scaling up and then we can't see our original subject which was the clip underneath make sure the motion blur is on and then easy ease the keyframes and then i'm going to add a cc radial fast blur to this layer just to create more of a smoother effect from the first scene into the second scene grab that effect and i'm just going to move the position of it and have it right at the center of our subject keyframe the amount at zero in the beginning click that layer click u to reveal the keyframes keyframe the end at 50 grab those keyframes easy ease them now if we play this we have the first part of our teleport effect so now in order to create that seamless transition from our first freeze frame layer into the second freeze frame layer keyframe the scale of this layer and in order to make it look smoother decrease the scale and have it at around 70 and just move it one frame back just so that i can see where our other subject is i'm going to align the position from this first freeze frame layer with the second freeze frame layer so just align it with that freeze frame layer and keyframe the position and scale in the beginning go forward two frames keyframe the scale back to 100 percent keyframe the position back to its original position and in order to do that just click the position right click click reset grab those keyframes easy ease them and then move this layer one frame forward back to its original spot make sure to have the motion blur on and then we're going to add the same effect to this freeze frame layer so add the cc radial fast blur keyframe that amount at 50 in the beginning click that layer click u to reveal the keyframes go towards the end and keyframe the amount back to zero grab those keyframes easy ease them now if we play this we have that seamless teleport zoom transition from the first scene into the second scene and in order to make this look even better i'm going to add a flash blur effect add a new adjustment layer right click go to new click adjustment layer make this adjustment layer four frames long add an exposure to this adjustment layer keyframe the exposure at two in the middle go to the beginning keyframe the exposure at zero and then keyframe the end at zero add a directional blur to this adjustment layer keyframe the blur length at 80 in the middle go towards the beginning keyframe it to zero and then keyframe the end at zero grab those keyframes easy ease them right when it transitions from the first clip into the second clip we have that flash blur effect and by adding this flash blur effect it creates this transparent edge at the top as well as the bottom in order to get rid of that i'll just add a motion tile to the second scene increase the output height to 200 click mirror edges now if we play this this is what we have for our final effect but that is all there is for this video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video